Hi, welcome to this final Christmas 2022 weather update. I started filming these in late November, and since then the prospects for snow have waxed and waned and waxed and waned again. But before I just summarise how things are looking for the big day, a quick reminder of what a white Christmas is. I frequently quote this because it is the official definition provided by the UK Met Office. It is for one flake or more of snow to be observed falling within the 24 hours of December the 25th at the given location. Nothing at all about accumulation. So as I've said before, the ground, the grass could be completely green and you still may have recorded a white Christmas. With that said, a quick look at the computer model data for the big day itself, starting with the UK Met Office uh, forecast at 00 GMT, 25th of December, so right at the outset of Christmas Day. Low pressure centered to the west, the northwest of the UK, which is just here. The greens indicating relatively mild air over the country. But what's going to be happening is colder air here to the northwest will be pushing down across the UK through the day. There's just some uncertainty about the timing. On the GFS model, 00 GMT, the shape and positioning of a low pressure is slightly different, but the general theme is the same. There's the colder air out for west, the northwest, and likewise on the European ECM model, still the relatively mild air pushing up across the UK, but the colder air mass ready to make its move. And by uh, 21 GMT, according to the GFS, the blue shading there indicating the colder air is making its way down across most of the country. So temperatures dropping, particularly in the northern half of the UK, the chance of snow possibly increasing. The charts associated with the GFS run here, 15 GMT on the left showing maximum temperatures, so into double figures in southern and central parts of Britain, mild as I've been saying, colder already in Scotland, and by 21 GMT, the chart on the right-hand side, which is showing precipitation type, you can see there is some snow being highlighted in Scotland, Northern Ireland, even parts of Northern England, and a little bit getting into North Wales in the form of showers. So there is a chance, according to these charts, of at least a technical white Christmas being recorded in quite a few Northern locations. At the same time, the UK Met Office UKV model, temperatures on the left, double figures again in the south, consistent with the GFS, colder in the north. On the right-hand side chart, 21 GMT, forecast rain and snow, rain showers over England and Wales, a, an increasing possibility there of sleet or snowfall in, in Northern Ireland and Scotland. So reasonable consistency, as you would expect, such, such a short lead time between these different models. The pattern very clearly is for it to be mild in the south, but that colder air pushing down from the northwest as we head through the day, leading to an increasing chance of wintry showers in the northern half of the UK in particular, possibly into North Wales as well. If you are hoping to see a technical white Christmas, the best chance is probably going to be in the evening and maybe just before midnight as we head into Boxing Day. It would still qualify, of course. How are things looking for the rest of the Christmas period as we head towards the new year? I thought it would just be worth very, very quickly summarising what looks like happening. The basic scene is an unsettled one, an Atlantic flow covering the UK, high pressure at times over continental Europe, maybe just nudging northwards into southern parts of Britain, keeping things drier on some days, rain, weather, belts of rain becoming lighter and patchier as they push down into southern counties. But all in all, it's an unsettled picture. This is from the ECM model, but it's consistent with what other ones are showing. With winds often coming from the west or the southwest, it doesn't look cold. But just to break out some of the data, here are the two meter temperatures forecast from the GEFS ensemble for London. Each column shows the maximums on the given day. So light greens and yellows indicating rather mild conditions. Are, and they are dominant through late December and into early January. If you're looking further ahead, 
no sign of anything particularly cold there. There is still a little bit of a dark green on some days. Those are runs which are going for maximums between 1 and 5 Celsius in a minority though on every day. It does look as though a milder pattern is becoming established. In terms of rainfall, just to illustrate, uh, the, using the London data table here, rain on quite a lot of the days, very likely. There are some drier interludes being shown up. There's quite a lot of light grey there appearing. Those are the runs which are forecasting no rain to fall at the given time slot. But all in all, unsettled or changeable at least as we head beyond Christmas Day itself and towards the New Year. Definitely for travelling or planning to go for walk or outdoor activities, keep up to date with the short range charts because it does look as though it could be quite wet. And going up to Glasgow just to see the view in the northwest, two metre temperature data table here. More dark green, still some blue there. The blues are the very cold runs, forecast maximums between 0 Celsius and minus 8. Some light green as well. And later on, as we head into January, it's increasing. General theme though here is for it still to be colder at times in the northern half of the UK, but not to the extent that we saw during the first half of December. It does look like a more mobile, a more changeable pattern with a bigger influence from the Atlantic. So snow possible at low levels at times in the north through the period between Christmas Day and the new year, but most likely over higher ground, perhaps good for these Scottish ski resorts. Looking at the precipitation forecasts for Glasgow, reasonably consistent there with the London one, which I just showed. There is some drier uh, weather being shown up based on a number of the runs, the light greys there, as I say, the dry conditions of that given time slot. All in all though, an ongoing risk of rain and hill snow. So just to summarise Christmas 2022, there is a good chance for technical white Christmas in parts of the north, although I suspect it's not what a lot of people were hoping for and it would be quite underwhelming because technical white Christmas just means that flakes of snow need to be observed falling. They don't need to be accumulating. In the south it's mild and it's likely to stay mild until late into the evening and into Boxing Day when that colder air from the west and northwest starts reaching southern counties of England. Between Boxing Day and the New Year, it's a very mixed picture. There is an ongoing risk of showers or long spells of rain. It could also be windy at times. Temperatures in the southern half of the UK often above the seasonal average, colder though still in the north on some days. So, there we have it. I've dug out my lucky hat just to give a final boost of a chance of snow for those of you in the north. As I say though, most parts of the UK are not going to be seeing a covering of snow on the ground. There could be a, a reasonable chance though of flakes of snow being observed falling in the northern half of the UK, a technical white Christmas. That's it. So all I can say is a very happy Christmas to all of you who've been watching my videos through the course of this year. Hopefully I'll continue to grow the YouTube channel as we head into 2023. As ever, thank you for your support and if you find these videos useful and enjoy them, do hit the like and subscribe buttons. Then you'll always be kept up to date when I publish a new one. Thanks very much now. Bye.